In 1969, at the peak of the Vietnam War, more than half a million U.S. service members were involved. The Vietnam War was the longest in U.S. history until the war in Afghanistan that began in 2002. It was extremely divisive in the U.S., Europe, Australia, and elsewhere. Because the U.S. failed to achieve a military victory and the Republic of South Vietnam was ultimately taken over by North Vietnam, the Vietnam experience became known as the only war America ever lost. It remains a very controversial topic that continues to affect political and military decisions today. Despite the fact the Vietnam War was extremely divisive, the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines could only focus on staying alive. What makes a man want to sacrifice his life to save another? I've come to Chicago to try and answer that question. This is the Navy Pier and Milton Olive Park, named in honor of a black U.S. Army soldier that jumped on a grenade to save his squad in Vietnam. PFC Olive was the first African-American Medal of Honor recipient of the Vietnam War, awarded posthumously. Faced with that situation, would I have that courage? Would you? And right on cue, in the middle of our filming, the weather in Chicago changed and became brutally cold. And it makes me think of the reception the veterans of Vietnam got when they returned home. Brutally cold. There are times when Vietnam must seem to many a thousand contradictions. And the pursuit of freedom there and almost unrealizable dream but there are also times and for me this is one of them when the mist of confusion lifts and the basic principles emerge so in dying private Milton Olive taught those of us who remain how we ought to live. While on patrol, PFC Olive smothered a grenade with his body, saving the lives of his platoon leader and his squad, both white men and black men, and in doing so, showed the rest of us how to live. Vietnam veterans can teach us a lot, but there's a misconception that needs to be cleared up. Vietnam vets are more at risk than you think. There's this number going around that many of you will recognize. It's 22 per day, as in 22 veterans commit suicide daily in the United States. The problem is that that number, 22 per day, it doesn't apply to the group of veterans that everybody thinks it does, the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. In fact, according to Veterans Affairs, only one Iraq or Afghanistan veteran commits suicide daily in the United States. But that's still one too many. So where does that number come from, 22 per day? It turns out that the majority of that number, 22 per day, comes from Vietnam-era veterans. But you're not going to read that on social media. You're not going to see that posted on Facebook. And most Vietnam veterans didn't get so much as a cup of coffee or a USO donut when they got off the plane.
The practical lessons learned in Vietnam helped us fight insurgencies 30 years later in the global war on terror. Your sacrifices had value. America loves you. Welcome home.